Hey LinkedIn, um, you know we we do a lot of supporting B two B, go to market um, sales are very sales centric, and and I just want to comment on this point that we talk a lot about content, and nowadays people are watching a lot of video content. So we do a lot of video. We've done a lot of video over the years, um, about nine thousand video projects. And one thing I just communicate um, often is that what we're really talking about in, in many cases is just simply. Who is the audience, right? Who's the audience? Who, who, what problems are they trying to solve? Because everybody's got frustrations. They got problems they're trying to solve, and challenges, or motivations, or goals, or whatever. And companies do, right? They're ambitious. Companies are trying to get somewhere. And what we're really talking about is understanding the person who's on the receiving end. And and hopefully, you know, they're they're the right person. There's a stakeholder. There's somebody going after. But the person on the receiving end. And then, you know, what is the message? What is the the thing that you need to communicate to them? What are the key buttons, um, the key words that need to be communicated? And then, how do you write that? The actual copy, copy. How do you how do you write it uh, in a way that is easy to digest and is very compelling and just sort of seamlessly moves them um, to the outcome that you want. And when you're looking at even just one single piece, one single piece is never enough, but one single piece, you got to look at it like, what is the objective? What's the outcome you want to happen? How is it written? What's the message and who's that audience? Right. And rather than just, you know, um, you know, we hear people say the word explainer video. I hate that word. Um, I, I think it's really a disservice to what we're actually trying to do in many cases, but, um, you know, it's more. It's a video is just a vessel. It's just a. It's just a vehicle to deliver the communication. And the thing that you really have to hit is the communication of that audience in a way that's going to move them. And ideally, budget aside, ideally, what we're really talking about is when you look at the pre-sale journey and you look at the sales enablement journey, we're really talking about jotting out, connecting the dots, and jotting out all those steps in sequence through that journey that are going to lead the, the prospect or the buyer where you want them to go, and naturally for them as well, get, giving them the information where they want to go, hopefully ungated and, and routing them into sales. And then once they're in sales, and it's a new sales op, moving them from end to end because even in sales, it takes a ton of follow-up, right? It takes a lot of phone calls, it takes a lot of emails, it takes a lot of messaging. People that, like on the prospect side, there many cases they're probably doing nothing, which means that the, the salesperson in B2B has to do all the follow-up and all the follow-through to move the ball down the field. And in order to do that, you need all the content and all the right things through that sales journey. So, you know, you need to have the initial pitch, you need to have the deep dive value prop, you need to have the objection handling, you need to have, you know, the case study, third party endorsement, you need to have stats and confidence material and things that show them what it's like. And, and if you can sort of naturally move through that sales cycle, you're going to take them closer and closer and closer to getting that cycle done. And it's good for the buyer as well because then it gives them all the information. And as we know, when it comes to making a decision, there's really two main things. It's number one, they have to understand, and number two, they have to be confident. They have to be confident that your solution is right for them, and number number one, they have to understand. They have to understand it, right? And so you can sort of educate them while you kind of are moving them through that journey and make sure that all those things are in place. That's really what we're talking about. So it's such a shame when somebody just comes in looking for a video or something, or, or oh, I need a video, or I need an explainer video, because that, that really is, a disservice, really kind of dumbing it down to what you're actually doing. And I think if you're more foc if you really focus on actually we need this communication, this message written in this way for this audience, and then these th these are the steps, this is that journey, you're a lot better off. So something to think about. Uh, love to hear your comments below. Okay? Thanks.